Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. And guess what, y'all? It's book review time! You better get it, you better get it, you better get it, you better get it. <laughs> it has been so long since I've given y'all some good old book reviews. I've been reading a lot lately. Um, and now keep in mind, if you've looked at my previous video, a lot has been going on. Child, your girl even wrote a book. Come on, somebody. Amen. Publishers, agents, reach out. Um, but right now, I'm going to share some books that I've read recently. I would say this is the last few months. Like, I'm, I'm about down to reading a book a month, if not a little less. So, I got a few books here. So, I'm going to start with the most recent one that I read, and we're going to go from there. So, first is Leanne Moriarty. Um, I actually have a whole video, and I think I pronounced her last name correctly. I have a whole video about like a bunch of her books. And this one, I was like, have I, have I never read this one? And as I was reading it, it felt a little familiar, but not enough. So I don't know, y'all. You know, if you're an avid reader, sometimes you read the same book and you don't even know it because you read them so frequently. But this is called The Last Anniversary. If the view looks a little different, my bad. <laughs> the camera, the battery went dead, and I was like, dang, it has been a while since I've done this. So anyway, back to uh, the last anniversary. It's about a family who owns this island and two sisters start this business. And the business is based on this great mystery about Alice and Jack Monroe. And the thing is, they tell the truth about the whatever the mystery is to all of the family members when they turn 40. But the main sister who like thought of the whole thing, she passes away and she has everything lined up and she invites Sophie to come and live in her home. Sophie is like the main character. I would say she's definitely a main character because um, we learned all about Sophie's life and stuff. And I, it's so interesting to watch these movies, me to read these books, to watch these movies, to read these books because it's like Sophie is like 39 or something, 38, 39, I don't know, somewhere around there. And, you know, she's single and it's like, oh my gosh, that's the end of the world. Child, been there, read that. Okay. Um, and she, you know, everybody loves her. And it's like every single character has their own drama and their own thing going on. And you don't find out the real story behind everything until the very end. And there's a couple of like shocker things like, oh, so you're just around here. Like, and I, again, I don't want to give too much away. So again, I'm a fan of this author. I feel like it's a very light read. It's something that you can read easily on a plane. If you got any beach vacations coming up, do you boo? And you know, you can read something like this. So that's an option for you. Okay, the second book I read was uh, Tayari Jones. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her uh, first name, Leaving Atlanta. This was actually her first book. And she, I think they re-released it because again, her other books have done so well. She's also the author of American Marriage and one of my favorite books. Um, not necessarily because of how it's written, but the storyline is really great. Now this one is about, apparently this was before my time, but about some child uh, abductions that were happening in Atlanta back in, I think I want to say the late 70s, early 80s. And it, it's written with the ch children's point of view. Now this one, if you are looking for something really energetic and like loving and just beautiful this is not the book for you because actually this book I was like this is actually really sad um again very well written though because I felt like I was literally reading like a, a child's diary or it's very much from the point of uh, point of view of the child and I got that in every possible way and not just that but like a black family um, you know, like in each child was like in a different, I guess you say economic status, different parts of Atlanta. Like one was more well to do. It talks about like colorism. Like it talks about a lot of real things that I know a lot of kids experience. Um, it just, it's sad because it's talking about kids being snatched up and kids having a different view of what was happening that summer in Atlanta. Um, so again, keep that in mind. It's a, it's very well written. Do I recommend it? Yes. Um, just because, but you just got to know that you, it's a sad story. There's not like these perfect endings or like, oh, this makes me so happy. So if that's what you're trying to read. This is not the book for you. But if you want to read about something that actually happened and I love the different point of view that she wrote from, this is definitely worth it. So yes for that. Um, two more books that I want to share with you. This is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I don't think I'd ever, ever read a book by her. Um, and it's, it's, it's very much rom-com. You'll, you're going to know exactly what happens even when you read the back of the book. But it's about two people that it was a sister and a best man who are in a wedding and the wedding, the entire wedding party gets food poisoning. So the, the groom and the bride can't go on their honeymoon. 
So the sister who's the maid of honor and the best man go in their place. They, you know, they hate each other, supposedly hate each other. Um, and then you find out they don't hate each other. But it's like, give me a Hallmark movie with a little, a little bit more in the sex scene. Not much. Um, but it's, it, it was, it was interesting because also I want to say the, the character, the main character was a uh, Latina and I'm all, I'm all about that because again, I'm, I'm trying to read other cultures and just, you know, learn about other people other than, other than, you know, your, your typical like white character. Um, so it's, I thought it was like interesting, cute. Again, another B tree, very quick read and it has like a lot of action. Like it keeps it going. And again, I like that. It's, if you're somewhere, you're like, I do not want to hear about somebody else falling in love. Child, this ain't the book for you. This ain't it. If you over here trying to manage your single season in the way that you need to manage it, a man to you, keep going after your contentment, this may not do it for you. It's just something I was like, I can handle it right now, but not everybody can handle it. So, um, again, it was cute. Uh, I think it's great, like, if you can find it at, like, Half Price Bookstore. Okay. Last book. Um, Terry Blackstock, If I Run. Now, I have never heard of this author. Um, I actually got this book from uh, some a woman giving away some books at church. And it has like a, a Christian undertone. And it is, I read it in one day. <laughs> it is very fast paced, like a little bit thriller, mystery type stuff. Like, you know, uh, give me CSI, not quite law and order. This can be triggering. The storyline can be triggering. So it's about uh, a woman who is being accused of a crime she didn't commit and a guy a guy from the victim's family is hired to go after her and turns out that like basically he and her they have something there's something else between them and it turns out it's like you know the police are kind of crooked there's some other stuff going on I want to give everything away but you'll kind of see that in the first part of it um, and the crime scene tells one story, but what actually really happened is a different story. So that's what I'm saying. It's giving you law and order a little bit. You got to kind of think like a criminal slightly. Um, and it's also the main character. She just happens to get away every single time. Um, but it's, it's a story about people who both, everybody has like a sketchy past. And it's like, how do you have redemption from that? And it's actually a three-part series. So when you read this book, you're going to be like, oh, I got to read the next one. Now the next one I started... Couldn't really finish it. <laughs> I was just kind of like, oh, is this three books basically about the exact same story? Like she's still on the run and the guy is still going after her? I can't read that. Like, <laughs> you can read it. It's again, Terry Blackstock, I think she is great writing because it's like very fast paced. I just don't want to read three books basically about the same thing and I gotta wait to the, get to the third book to find out like do they get together? Do they, you know, does she ever go back to police and share what she actually did know when it's you know all the stuff but again i feel like for a first one plot is great but if you have to know what happens just be prepared that you got to read two more books and again there's nothing wrong with me reading more books it just I, I i'm okay with just reading the one so but i got some more books coming i'm gonna do another to be read uh book because i just you know i kind of went to the bookstore i was like i'm getting back into my groove i gotta commute back into the office um, about three times a week, so or two to three times a week, so I'm back on the trains. So that means I'm back reading. Um, but yeah, so be on the lookout for my next video to see what books that I have coming up because y'all, we're doing some more reading. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for joining Conversations with Carrie. Be sure to like and subscribe.